So this is a really quick and dirty of how to get your money from Coinbase over to uh, DeFi Kingdoms as quick as possible. So we're going to show you that you're going to buy Avalanche on Coinbase. And this is a cheaper way. You can do it with Ethereum, but this is a kind of a cheap way uh, without so much of the other gas fees. Send to your MetaMask wallet. We'll show you your address from the clipboard. We're going to do a QR code. From account details, we're going to go to Trader Joe. Um, once we have our Avalanche in our MetaMask, then we're going to go to Trader Joe and we're going to trade our Avalanche, our AVAX for Jewel on the AVAX network. Then we're going to take our Jewel from the AVAX network and bridge it over to Harmony One using the Terra Bridge. And now then we'll have Jewel on um, Harmony One wallet. So say I want to send a um, hundred dollars over to DeFi Kingdoms. I'll buy a hundred dollars in AVAX, send that to my MetaMask, transfer all most of it. I mean, you got to leave some for gas on your AVAX, but you know you already have some AVAX. Or say if, if I want to send a hundred, I may send a hundred and fifteen, just because I know I'm going to need some um, gas. Uh, eventually for my AVAX. So send 115, then I'm gonna send change 100 of that 115 into Jewel. And then once I have that 100 of Jewel, I'm gonna send that on a Terra Bridge to my Harmony One wallet, which we already used to put gas on there from Elk Finance from previously. And now you can go into DeFi Kingdoms and you know, then we, you know, I guess we'll do some other stuff about what to do next and that, how to make a liquidity pool and such like that. But um, now let's get into exactly the step by steps and showing how. Bit of a weird angle, but it kind of helps keep the glare off. So here in my Coinbase account, I'm going to touch on my wallet, and then this little arrow to the side means I'm going to send. I want to send. The max amount, I put 20 bucks over here already. And they, you know, they already took a fee out of it. And then I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to ask me to what address. And I'm going to send it to. Now you can either, like I said, you can either get the copy from here. Or you can get the QR from here. The three dots over here to the right under account details. But I had it in here already, the uh, the address. And so I'm going to preview send. It's going to say you're sending this amount. I'm going to send now. Now it wants me to put in my um, two-step um, Google authentication, which I just went and got from my Google Authenticator. And I'm paste it in. Has that number. Submit. Successfully sent. Done. And now I have zero AVEX left. All right. So we'll see. It's already there in that time. So I got my AVEX here. Go to Trader Joe. I'm going to switch some of this AVEX to Jewel, what I just sent over, which, you know, is like 20 bucks. Jewel. I don't think I've ever done it with this one, so it may not. All right. So even better, we can show how we what we'll do next. So I need to get the um, the contr the ID for Jewel. Hold on here. Show. So I'll go here to Coin Market Cap. Type in Jewel. This is the same thing we just did in the previous video. We're now go here. I um, add to my MetaMask. Add a token. And also get the copy address. I'm gonna need that. So go back. Oh, I took me out of the um, what's the name? Hold on. I took myself out of Trader Joe's. Go back here. Paste in the address. Enter. Something's wrong with this Trader Joe. Normally, hold on. So let me double check. And maybe see how I'm in there. All right, a bit of a correction. We actually have to go to the, to the Pangolin Exchange. Uh, here's the website. I don't know why I didn't go in blue like this other one. Let me. There we go. Um, I'm sorry. I must have thought it was Trader Joe, but it's Pangolin. It's another uh, exchange, decentralized exchange on the Avalanche ecosystem. So use Pangolin's exchange that we can swap our AVAX for Jewel. So we're here. And we're going to switch out um, 
let's say 0.16, no, 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 0.16, no, 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 sorry, delete 0.16, we don't need much of this, so let's go actually 0.23, Two, three. Swap, confirm swap. To go probably pretty quickly. Close. And we already have Jewel in here on our MetaMask on AVAX. So now we're going to get some Jewel. And while that is occurring, we're waiting for that, we'll go to Terra Bridge and we'll turn from. Oh no, it's not Terra Bridge. I'm tripping. Man. If I didn't do that part where I sent the money already over from the um, Coinbase wallet, I would refilm all of this. All right. So strike that. We're not using Trader Joe. We're not using Terra Swap. I'm tripping Terra Swap because I was doing something from Terra over to Harmony. Okay. We're going to any swap and we're going to use any swap. So Pangolin to transfer. So Coinbase or Gemini or Kraken or Crypto.com, something, something like Crypto.com or some other ones. If they got Harmony One, you can just send money from Harmony One directly to your, um, your Harmony wallet uh, in MetaMask. You may have to go to and I'll show that real briefly where you can take the wallet, your address and find out what the Harmony address is. So you just have to, you will have a Harmony address and you will see what the MetaMask address is for your, um, to send to yourself or the Ethereum version of your Harmony one address. But buy on Coinbase, some AVAX, send it to your MetaMask wallet. Then you gotta go to the Pangolin exchange exchange that AVEX for Jewel. Now look, for me, my Coinbase doesn't recognize my AVEX MetaMask. So I have to use, because I sent um, Ethereum with that address or something, I'm able to use the address, but you, I'm not able to use the Q, QR access for AVEX with that, but you can copy and paste your address in there. So if you have some problems, that's the solution to it. You may not be able to QR code it for AVEX, but you can copy and paste it in there, your MetaMask address in there. So you may have to email it to yourself and then your phone and then copy and paste it from your email into your Coinbase. Go to Pangolin, exchange the Pangolin, the, the, the AVEX, go to Pangolin Exchange on, on Pangolin Exchange, swap AVEX for Jewel, then go to any swap. That's what I do now. And you're in the AVEX mainnet, and you're going to select Jewel, and we're going to send Jewel to one, which is Harmony One mainnet. And we're going to send the max amount, click on that, and that's the max amount. Swap, confirm. They may just be first confirming it, like you know how they ever got to approve or confirm everything, and then they allow you to do the swap. So we're sending like two Jewel to ourselves. And then we're gonna, um, I'm not gonna show all that, but I'm gonna, of course, uh, throw this in liquidity pool. Okay, yeah, showing my balance. Still pending. I'll tell you how long this takes. Okay, so they approved it, but now look how much they charging me to swap it. Wow, this is robbery, dude. For real? Minimal cross-chain amount is 1.9 Jewel. The minimal cross chain fee is 0.9 Jewel. Oh, okay. So they're automatically charging 0.9. And why did I say that's my balance? Oh, they said I already sent it over? Hold on, this thing is. I know I confirmed it, but I don't think I any swap out. Maybe it happened already. Yeah, okay, so I swapped out my Jewel already. Over to, now let's go over to Harmony. Let's switch over to Harmony. And yep, that 1.45 Joule, because I didn't have any Joule in there. So that's how quick it takes, less than 10 minutes or so. Um, you know, hey, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.